inside the boardroom of Electronic Active Softworks. Hi, hi, hi. How are you? How are you doing today? Yeah, I'm pretty good. You know, I've uh, punched a few interns. It's uh, it's all been good. Ah, it's always a good day when you can get a couple of interns punched before lunch. Yeah, sure. Punch them before luncheon. A luncheon now, punching. Luncheon punching. So, I've got a new idea for games. Excellent. What do so, you got? Here's, here's my idea. Here's sure. my idea. Um, So... If we, you know, we already have tools for, like, creating content in our game. You know, the, the design team use them already. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, here's what I'm thinking. We give players the ability to access creation tools. And we just let them make content. And we put a little bit in our world where we could just use their content without having to make it ourselves. Oh, yeah, sticking in that long-ass EULA at the beginning, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That We can just, if we want it, we can, you made it in our game, we can just use it. Yeah. And then we just update our game with things that other people made that we didn't have to make. I mean, yeah, that, that seems like a brilliant idea. Yeah, so we just get them to, like, create assets and uh, all sorts, and we'll just litter them around the world, and then we'll just say, we made this. Indeed. And, like, here's the genius thing, I think, about this, is if we pitch it, pitch it right... We've given them creation tools. That's that's added benefit. Yeah, their stuff might get in the game. That's added benefit. That's yeah. that's a positive. They 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 got to be in the game. And, and and you know we don't have to whip quite as many developers. Oh no, we're still gonna whip the developers. I mean we're gonna whip them, but there will be less of them, which means my arm will be a lot less tired. Well, see, I think we just like put that effort into whipping the ones we still have more. Definitely. I mean, I could probably take a whip in each hand at this point. Oh, that's brilliant. So. We make the community do the work. We sell that as extra value. It's, Absolutely. it's more value because they do the work. Nice, nice. Well, how about, like, if there's, like, really, really good stuff, we'll just uh, maybe just wipe that out and stick it in a DLC or a, a microtransaction, you know, get the really good shit. Exactly. You know what we could even do? Just go find kids on Reddit that have invented skins and we'll just be like, yeah, we'll make your dream come true. We'll put it in the game. Free, free here. stuff for us. Sign here. You can have 500 credits. <laughs> exactly. Absolutely worthless. You won't even be able to buy the thing that they made. Oh, fantastic. I think this is a fantastic idea. You are a fucking genius. Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. Thank you for... Thank you for coming in. I know that this is a lot of... It's just a lot of effort to have to come into work. So I'm thinking... We're going to crack out our entire slate of movies for this year in one meeting, because then we don't have to come in again. Sure, sure. That seems like a great idea. So, so, you know, you know what we're all about. We make knockoff films for... They're going to end up in Poundland. It's fine. We'll make our money back. So, who's got ideas for film knockoffs that we won't get sued for? Lift. It's the story of an old guy who's lost his wife, and uh, he hangs out with some kind of a, 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 one of the guides or something, and they learn something about themselves. The, apparently the house just lifts up on, on like, a uh, small wing. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. Okay, okay, I got one for you. Sure. Uh, it's Kill Will. It is about a female assassin that's going on a revenge mission to, you know, get revenge on, on someone who's wronged them. Yeah. But the person's name is Will. It's not, it's definitely not Bill. No, I mean, why would you, why would you... Why would I even say that? Okay. Yeah. You got any others? Cheery Toes. Um, it's the story of some, uh, like, some dancing penguins. Do penguins even have toes? I, I, I believe so. But we'll, we'll give, give them, them toes. toes. <laughs> exactly. We've got, we've got, like, three 3D animators. They've got a little bit of experience with, uh, like, some low-rent blender assets. I figure we can knock this out in about three months. I think as long as we have a shot at the beginning that shows the penguins definitely have toes and they wiggle them a bit and that's like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I got one. The Speedy and the Angry. It's about oh. people who go very fast in cars and have lots of rage-based emotions to get out. They're uh, very testosterone-fueled. They're speedy and angry, and that's definitely distinct from fast and furious. Exactly. I know somebody who can get us about 60 Nissan Micros. Oh, brilliant. If we, like, paint them and stick a spoiler on the back, no one's gonna know. Absolutely. Maybe get some Hot Wheels and just zoom in real close. Yeah, I mean, we, we, do, we do use a lot of model shots. Alternatively, again, as I say, we got some guys that know how to use Blender, so <laughs> we'll probably work something out there. 
Right, right. Got, got one last one, perhaps? The bad dream before Easter. Oh, brilliant. Tell me about this bad dream before Easter. It's it's about the, uh, the people who live in the town where Halloween is made. They learn about the Easter Bunny and eggs and stuff. There's a bunch of songs, and then there's some kind of bug creature at the end that's all a bit spooky. But we'll keep it, like, PG, don't worry. And there'll be lots of songs, and ultimately, everyone learns a lesson. Uh, and, and we've got um, that Todd Barton guy. Who, who makes all the slightly edgy, uh, you know, looks like it wears a lot of turtlenecks and black and, and, um, and things like that. Brilliant. Okay. Now, if we put one of those out every two months, that's our year sorted. Brilliant. Well, that was what? Three, four minutes? Pfft. Who does work? Works for suckers. Works for the guys who know how to use Blender, right? <laughs> Do you sometimes find the noise and chaos of a night out partying just a bit too much? Oh, yeah, yeah, I just need to decompress a little bit. Well, try The Quiet Room, Ooh. a new room hidden in the nightclub or rave venue where the lighting's just a little bit less intense. Oh. There's comfy chairs, <gasps> there's less bass, oh. less overall volume, oh. and you can just catch your breath for a moment. <sighs> Try the quiet room. Just, you know, go away from where all the people are for a bit. It's not quite going home. It's the joys of not being on the dance floor without being the lame person who went home early. There's not even trains running home at this time of night. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> oh, darling. Uh, hello. Uh, you look very intelligent from your pictures. I noticed that you have a lot of books on your on your bookshelf there, looking through your front room window. Uh who are you? Well, you know, didn't have much luck on uh, that OK Cupid thing, so I'm just, you know, trying it out IRL. Would you like to see a picture? No, thank you. Oh, go on, have a picture. Uh, uh that's a picture of your penis. So, sorry, oh, wrong, is that bad? Then wrong, the wrong picture. Here is a picture of my dog. It's a lovely uh, dog. That... You like dogs, right? Um, I'm the... more, first of all, I'm more of a cat person, and second, you sent me a picture of your penis. No, no, I wouldn't, wouldn't do that. Ah, uh, well, probably stuff you anyway. What? Oi, 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 you over there. Yeah, hello. Hello, darling. Hi. Hi, you look really interesting. Hey, you, you, you flicked your eyes over at me. I know you saw me. You can't just put me on red like that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> oh, well, heck you then. Nobody likes anyone like that. You're being rude now, ain't ya? Ain't ya? Do you want to see a picture? How does your penis? Sorry, wrong picture. Uh, she liked dogs. Find me on OK Cupid on Dave69420. Hey! That's both of the numbers, isn't it? Hey, 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 don't just leave me on red. I want to see a picture. <laughs> and now, Class 4E will tell the story of Unicorn Dance Party. Once upon a time, there was a unicorn. And it spent the whole summer partying and dancing and having a wonderful time. <laughs> but then it all got very tiring and then the winter came. Ooh. Oh, it's the winter. I am the spirit of winter. Oh, no. And, and I come to make all the dark and all the cold so everyone is, is very... Is very... It's like a, it's a lunch. It's very scared and, and dark and cold. And because it was the winter, the unicorn couldn't go out and party because it was very cold and going to and from parties is bad in the cold, in the dark and the winter. I am the unicorn. I have spent all summer dancing and now I am tired. But I wish it wasn't so cold and I wish it wasn't so dark. I miss the sunshine. So, the unicorn had an idea to have a party at home. That's the unicorn dancing at the party. It's too cold in here. And so, and so the unicorn wanted to get rid of the spirit of winter. But how could it do it? Oh, whatever am I going to do? 
and then the unicorn went out into the woods and it found the spirit of winter and there was the spirit of winter and it was mean and angry and made a big noise and the unicorn tried to scare it away the unicorn tried to scare it away with a kick to the oh that's that's a bit rude i will kick you with my back legs right in the googlies <gasps> Oh, oh, I was oh, oh. And then the spirit of winter slowly hobbled away, and over the coming months it got lighter and more fun, and to celebrate the spirit of winter going away, they decorated all the pointy trees to look like the unicorn horns, and everybody danced around. Yay! Yay! That is the story of the first unicorn dance party. It is why every year we dress up our house very colourful and have a party. <laughs> you need to. Thank you, Class 4E. I think it's time we turn to the boffins in the science lab to see what they've come up with. Uh, um, yes, so, we need to, uh, stop the asteroid that's coming towards Earth, and, uh, we've got a, uh, very scientific explanation of how we're going to do that. Um, so, we have, a the, the, the big, uh, laser, and it's going to swirl all the laser around, and make it very strong, and then it'll fire it at the, the, the asteroid. It contains blastitrons in there which are very good at destroying the 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 uh, the mineral the asteroidium the ast asteroidium minerals the asteroidium minerals within the uh, the asteroids well uh, how are you planning to stop the uh, the giant lizard thing that's attacking tokyo um um so we have um a chemical that's going to cause its um oh god um uh, it's atoms. It's, they're made of atoms, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. It's atoms to break apart. It uses radioactivity to break the atoms apart, and then they uh, spread further apart and and break into pieces. Just small, tiny pieces of atoms, and they'll just be lying around. And then, then we will have defeated the big lizard. And what about those interdimensional, uh, the, 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 the things, the aliens coming through? Um, we're going to, uh, use the laser, did we already say laser? We've used laser. Uh, have we said atoms? Nanobots! We're going ah. to use nanobots to close the... What was it, a wob wobbly gate? The timey-wimey, wibbly-wobbly, TARDIS? What? Those are words? Not that we've been watching that while uh, we no. were supposed to be doing research on how to defeat the aliens. Not that we were using that as, as re no. research. No. Um, we'll reverse the polarity, polarity of the neutron of the flow. Neutron flow. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah. Um, well, that, uh, that all seems quite interesting. Uh, I look forward to your results. Uh, i better get back out on the, the, with the battlefield with this uh, big pow, 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 pow gun that you filled with the Explodium X. I'm uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to you taking on those. I this is a Nerf gun, isn't it? No. All right then. Do, do you think we got away with that? Absolutely. <laughs> okay. He has no clue that we don't know what size is, right? No. But anyway, let's get back to watching Doctor. Yeah, it's fine. We'll finish the season before the asteroids crash down. Yeah, we'll be fine. In it. It's fine. There's literally no hope. <laughs>